in Christ. Uh, we thank our uh, Heavenly Father and the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for giving this wonderful opportunity. So, as you all know, from last few days, we have been uh, studying uh, the Lord's uh, second coming. So, we have clearly studied uh, from past few weeks uh, that uh, how, uh, what is the purpose of Jesus' uh, second coming, what is the general expectations of Jesus' second coming, and how Jesus comes actually as per the Bible. So, how to identify such a uh, Jesus, uh, you see, uh, who is going to come invisibly, uh, that's what we are going to study today. After this one, we are going to see uh, any date is there regarding uh, Jesus' second coming. So, today we are going to study the fourth part, of, that is uh, how to identify Jesus, because he is going to come invisibly, means he can't be seen with our naked eyes. It is only by eyes of understanding that we need to perceive uh, Jesus Christ uh, has come or not. So then uh, how do we identify this one? The same question actually arose in the minds of uh, the disciples. Hence the disciples questioned, uh, you see, our master, the same thing. So let us read that verse, Matthew 24, 3. Matthew 24, 3. Emmanuel, brother, can you read? Okay, Matthew 24, 3. And as, as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall this sign of these, these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Very good. Uh, see, what shall be the signs of thy coming and, uh, and the end of the world? See, the disciples ask, what shall be the sign of thy coming? Uh, you see, so... Dear brethren, when Jesus mentioning about the signs, he clearly told that if anybody tells that I am here, I am there, I am in a, you see, desert or, or else if somebody claims that I appeared secretly to them in a chamber, don't believe that one. You see, let us read that verse, verse 26, brother. Verse 26. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. You see, Jesus clearly tells, uh, if somebody tells I am in the desert, uh, Jesus Christ is come in the desert, is come uh, visibly to everybody's eyes, don't believe it. Uh, or as if somebody tells uh, Jesus come secretly in the chamber, he came and spoke to me, don't believe it. Uh, why? Because... Jesus' second coming is not going to be that way. That is the reason Jesus clearly told, don't believe these things because his second presence will be invisible. Therefore, what did the disciples ask? What are the signs for thy, you see, presence? Signs means what? You see, identification. Like for example, if a train is going to come in a platform, there is some identification that is required now. A sign board will you put there? You see, such and such train has come. It is there in this platform. You see? So that is identification. So similarly, dear brethren, uh, you see? So there are some signs that are uh, uh, given by your master to identify his skin presence. Uh, you see? And uh, well, uh, mentioning uh, about his presence, uh, you see, Jesus clearly tells how his second presence will be. It is given to us in Matthew 24, 7, 27, brother. Matthew 24, 27, brother. Verse 27. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and signeth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of the man be. Uh -huh. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth to the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of man be. See, see, see this is the lightning. You see? So now, see how is the lightning is shining? You see? It is coming from East to west. Eh? Jesus said, as lightning cometh from east to west, so shall the, you see, presence of the Son of Man be. No, does lightning have any particular direction? No, particular direction is not there for lightning. Lightning comes uh, randomly, midway, flashing this way, that way, either way. There is no direction for lightning. Uh, you see, then uh, why Jesus said about uh, coming from east to west? Uh, you see, so if you see in the Greek, in that verse, the uh, the word lightning that is used, 
is actually from the Greek word astrape, which means a bright shining. You see, Jesus was telling as a bright shining that coming from east to west, so shall the uh, coming of the Son of Man be. Okay, now you tell me which is the bright shining that comes exactly from east to west. Which is the bright shining that comes from east to west? Every day we see, you know, in the morning. Which is that one? Emmanuel brother, which is the bright shining that comes from east to west in the morning? Purvavata niskira pasim samad chomki nege. Ekke jodi manna bani manna orate orate chorano na sabse tar. So this purvavata niskinta pasim magar asta mota kio bani. Hmm. Which is that one? No idea. You see, very simple. You see, that is uh, the sun. You see, the sun that rises, uh, you see, in the east and comes down to the west. Jesus was here actually referring to that one only, dear Budrayana. Jesus is saying, <laughs> as the sun, you see, cometh from east to west, so shall the uh, Coming, uh, the presence of the Son of Man be. Okay. Now, for the Son to come, you see, does it come uh, once for all? You see, can everybody see the Sun rising once for all? No, dear Bhutran. You see, the Sun actually rises or comes to visible to mankind in three stages. First stage is early morning, where uh, the people who are awake, only those can see. And the second, uh, you see, uh, portion is uh, morning around 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock. Uh, so, most everybody will be able to see. But afternoon, by mid-noon, you see, when the sun is on the head, uh, everybody, you see, can see that one without any hesitation. Therefore, dear brethren, so similarly, you see, the presence of uh, Jesus, uh, you see, is... Uh, been revealed to the world in three stages. And for three stages, three Greek words are used. The first Greek word used is parousia, which means presence. The second Greek word used is epiphania, which means bright shining. And the third, uh, you see, uh, Greek word used uh, is apocalypsis. Uh, you see, so... Apocalypsis is what? Uh, apocalypsis means what? Uh, revelation. That means uh, the thing already that is present is hidden. But now, uh, you see, uh, is clearly been visibly now. So that is what the meaning of uh, the word uh, apocalypsis. Uh, so dear Budren, you see, the first word, uh, 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 parousia. The word actually parousia means presence. Like for example, you see, if you go to a school, you see, the school uh, uh, teacher takes attendance. Role number one, if she calls, what will the children tell? The children will tell, present, madam. Role number two, oh, present, madam. So, uh, present means what? Uh, he is coming. Uh, he is already come. He is being seated there. I am here only, madam, in front of you. That is what? Uh, the word, uh, you see, present means. Uh, similarly, dear brethren, you see, uh, if the same attendance is taken in a Greek class, teacher, if he calls attendance, you know, what will the children reply? Children would reply, present uh, uh, in English. Uh, but in Greek, uh, they would tell, parosha, madam. Parosha means what? Uh? I am already present, but I am here only. This is the same word that is translated, uh, you, you see, in Matthew 24 chapter. See, in our Bible, you see, huh? it is translated as what? Uh, English. Uh, coming. Uh. Can you read in Nepali, brother? How does it in, come, come in Nepali? Matthew uh, 24, uh, uh, 3 or uh, Matthew 24, 37? Okay. Matthew 24, 37. Tara nuoka dinur jastati. Agaman, you see, Agaman means what? You see, Agaman means, you see, 
coming uh, correct now huh? now is this word huh? this verse uh, it says as it was in the days of noah so shall it be in the agaman of son of man correct now now let us read the same verse uh, you see huh? in uh, luke 17:26 brother luke 17:26 brother ha huh? Luke seventeen twenty six. Please, uh, everybody, observe your Bible. Open your Bible and please observe it. Ah. Uh. Luke seventeen twenty six. So my listen TBS refer to that. So you, the person TBS saw when it came. So Luke seventeen twenty six. Is it like here? So, ani Noah ka din aur ma justo boy ko thiyo manis ka putra ko din aur ma bani tiste hone sa. Aha, you see, huh? So what does it say? Manisha Kumaran ka dino. Noah dino. That means what? As it was in the days of Noah. So shall it be in the days of son of man. You see? So here the word Agaman is clearly translated as, you see, in the days of son of man. You see? So during the days of Noah, Now, who was present there? No one was there. No one was present there. Similarly, eh, in the days of Son of Man, you should be present there, dear brother. Na, no one should be present there. Therefore, this verse in Luke itself is a clear proof that uh, you see the word uh, uh, "coming" uh, has to be properly translated in our Bible as "presence." That means uh, Matthew twenty-four chapter. is a sign for his presence you see ha huh? ah uh, is a presence all the signs are given in matthew 24 you see third uh, 24 chapter you see now what did jesus say ha huh? well warning behold if anybody tells to go and see in the desert you see believe it not if any man tells ah uh, uh, that i have seen jesus in secret chamber believe it did not Why? Because, uh, dear brethren, so Jesus would not be coming visibly. That is the reason Jesus is telling, "Don't believe it." Uh, you see, so many people tell, "No, oh, I was speaking to Jesus. I was praying. Uh, Jesus came and spoke to me." You see, I was uh, jogging. Uh, Jesus came along with me, and uh, after that, when he went directly to heaven, if uh, Jesus is, uh, you see, uh, speaking to them, huh? Why didn't to ask Jesus, uh, Lord? Uh, when are you going to return permanently for the second coming? Please tell me. Why didn't to ask for the date? Uh? You see, dear brethren, this is a physically a proof that Jesus' uh, second presence will be a invisible presence. Okay. Now, in Matthew twenty-four chapter, Jesus gives us the complete signs of his second presence. So, what are the signs? Matthew twenty-four chapter four to six. Matthew twenty four four to six brother. Ima paar dino. Ima Peter. So Matthew twenty four verse forty six, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name saying I am Christ, and shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars and rumours of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Ah, see, Jesus while well, giving the signs, uh, you see, he tells the first sign that uh, many shall uh, come uh, in my name, that I am Christ. Uh, be not deceived. You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. You see, isn't it? So, as soon as we entered uh, this century, dear brethren, the war, uh, the war, nineteenth century, behold. Uh, Every man saw the great world war. Until such time, there was no world war at all. So many wars have happened, but none of the wars have been labeled as world war because the whole world was under war. That is the first world war that happened when nineteen fourteen. That is also given in the Bible. You see, nineteen fourteen. What happened? You see, first world war happened. Then second world war. You see, dear brethren. Huh? Second World War, nineteen thirty nine to nineteen forty five. That is also given in the Bible. You see, now what is the world preparing for? The world is preparing for Third World War. You see, today, yeah, on seeing all the news and all, 
people himself are telling oh mostly next what will happen third world war will happen dear brother if you list out the wars in the past 100 years almost every year you see there is a war russian war spanish war arab israel war korean war vietnam war afghan war iran iraq war kuwait war you see so so many wars you see are been happening now also recently dear brother what is happening a russia and ukraine war more than almost one year still now there is no sign of war getting stopped at all you see ukraine is completely you see into rebels you see people lost everything they become zero dear brother you see then huh? now what is the latest news israel and iran wow you see israel and hamas war you see in a news only they tell oh this is the third world war you see we will see you see so what does jesus say you shall hear about wars and rumors about war that is a sign of his second presence you see not second coming second presence this is a sign that he is present now the modern warfare you know what is that one you see biological warfare you see covid what was that one that was a biological warfare a invisible virus uh, which could not be seen but infected every part of the human being the entire world was completely under lockdown you see next uh, you see the modern warfare is drone warfare you see recently we all uh, saw in this news no? you see ha huh? hamas uh, chief uh, yaha sinwar was uh, hidden in gaza ha uh, israeli drone traced him you see and uh, they killed him you see so drone drone technology the drone warfare uh, you see the brand you see now the world is going for what uh, robotic warfare the brand uh, you see ha uh, unmanned uh, you see warfare in the whole world there are so much of nuclear bombs you see the whole world can be destroyed more than 200 times it seems sir so much of nuclear bomb is there in the you see entire world it seems sir dear brethren these are the signs of war rumors of war you see nation shall rise against nation people against people therefore dear brethren you see you see what is happening you see nation shall rise against nation isn't it you see bangladesh you see sri lanka pakistan you see ha huh? so all over the world what has happened a crisis crisis nation shall rise against nation kingdom against kingdom see in bangladesh you see one religion against other religion assam one religion against other religion sri lanka ltt against uh, sri lankans uh, you see that is what we see today dear brethren <coughs> you see and famines pestilences uh, and earthquakes as soon as uh, on tv immediately we see that there is no good news at all only bad news sri lanka you see famine there was such a worst crisis that people did not have food to eat you know what is the cost of 1 uh, uh, kg of uh, uh, chicken in uh, sri lanka is almost 9 rupees you see so expensive devadran with such uh, expenses who can survive see they for every citizen of uh, sri lanka revolted against the uh, uh, government uh, and overthrew the government uh, next uh, it came to bangladesh same situation uh, you see uh, entire uh, you see students uh, overthrew the you see regime of uh, bangladesh you see and uh, uh, people against people you see uh, whites against the blacks uh, you see uh, korea against uh, koreans uh, you see genocides uh, you see so many people have been killed uh, from in you see in africa people don't even have proper food or shelter dear brethren you see so you know people as they don't have food uh, some people eat ants nest you see ant makes a nest uh, in a sand no that one they eat it seems because uh, they don't have food uh, famine pestilences pestilences means what uh, bank uh, deadly diseases great deadly diseases dengue you see h1n1 chikungunya ebola covid uh, you see mutation uh, h3 n2 virus uh, disease x nipah virus so many things are there dear brethren these are all the signs of what uh, of the lord's presence 
read habakkuk 35 read habakkuk 35 i mean brother can you read habakkuk 35 Yeah, we'll go three five. Hmm. We were before him went to the pestilence, and the burning coals went forth at his feet. You see, before him, uh, that means uh, in front of Jesus. What is there? It's in pestilences, burning coals went uh, forth at his feet. Uh, you see, dear brother, when as Jesus comes, uh, you see what is there? Uh, deadly diseases comes, pestilences comes. Uh, therefore, imagine there was no. World crisis such as COVID, uh, suddenly this came into picture. You see, the entire world was completely locked down. Many people were mass buried. Uh, you see, why? Because uh, these pestilences, uh, this earthquake, this famine will happen in almost all the parts of the world. Uh, Syria, Turkey, Afghanistan, Indonesia, Pakistan, Delhi, Fiji and Uttarakhand. Lot of floods, lot of earthquake. Uh, you see, you know, why not? Uh, in uh, near uh, Karnataka, what happened? Uh, completely, uh, a place was completely, you see, cleared off. Uh, dear brethren. So no signs of uh, living beings were found. Uh, Uttarakhand, Pakistan, you see. Now all these things, uh, how should come on this earth? Uh, it should not be in a very small scale, but it should be in a very, very large scale. Uh, you see, let us read uh, Luke 21, chapter 25 to 26. Luke, Luke 21, uh, 25 to 26, brother. Uh, 25 and 26. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men start falling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Ah, there shall be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. Distress among nations, perplexity, seas and waves roaring. Hey, how? The seas and waves roaring, it seems. It will not be in a very small, small scale. It will be in a very big scale. Such that human beings seeing those waving and roaring of the sea, their hearts shall fail him. Tsunami. You see, very great tsunami, dear brother. Nobody could ever dream that uh, these things exist in this world. Uh, the first time tsunami came, the people were totally shocked. You see, such huge, huge waves. Completely, everything was, you see, you see completely wiped out. You see, what will happen? Seeing this thing, it seems, men start failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth. You know, what is happening in this earth? You see, these are the signs, dear brethren. And one of the signs which Jesus mentioned about... You see, his second coming is, uh, you see, the great Antichrist system. Let us read Matthew 24, 15. Brother. Uh. Matthew 24, 15. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of the desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. So, Jesus uh, spoke about the abomination that make it desolate, spoken of by Daniel the prophet. You see, the abomination that make it desolate is none other than the great Antichrist system. You see, the great Antichrist system, you see, how, you see, how it deceives the whole world. You see, we are studied about Antichrist, and Antichrist is not a single person, but it is a system. And uh, numerical triple six seal that is put up on the head and hand that is also not total. We have seen, you see, this is uh, the number of the beast. You see, therefore, it says in Revelation, uh, uh, he that has uh, wisdom, uh, let him understand uh, it is the name of the beast. Uh, you see, let him count. So, we are counted and seen. Our Pope has various titles, but one of the important titles uh, is the Pope has. Is Vicarves Felity. And this Vicarves Felity, if you calculate in Roman numericals, it is uh, triple six. So we have studied this one. So that means Antichrist is also completely over. So what other signs Jesus says? Read Matthew 24, chapter 23 and 24. 
23 and 24. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs, and false prophets, and shall grow, shall see great signs and wonders, in so much that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Uh -huh. You see? What do you say? Huh? Huh? Many false Christ shall come, it seems. False Christ means what? Christ means what? Not Jesus Christ. Christ, the word Christ means anointed. So false Christ means false anointed ones. Where they claim that we have the anointing, where they claim that they only have the anointing, that they can do miracles and all these things. What did Jesus say? When during the times of Jesus' second presence, these things will be more false prophets shall come. You see, false, uh, you see, preachers shall come. You see, they shall show great signs and wonders, it seems, uh, that uh, it will be in such a level, if it was possible, it would even deceive the very elect. You see, doing miracles, uh, you see, speaking in strange languages, unknown languages. We have studied all these things, too, then how, you see, huh? uh, uh, what do you say, uh, miracles uh, which Jesus conducted uh, and what we see today is totally different. Uh, you see, similarly, the meaning of tongues in the Bible is a known language, not an unknown language. Uh, you see, but today what people uh, speak, uh, you see, that is completely against the Bible. Therefore, this is also one of the signs of the Lord's presence. See, other signs of the Lord's presence is given in Matthew 24, 12. Matthew 24, 12. Hmm. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Ah, because iniquity shall abound. Because of this one, what will happen to sir? The love of God will wax cold, it seems. Today, how is iniquity? Disco, club, bar, drinks, smoking. You see, women getting married to women, it seems. To the fight for the right. Huh? Men getting married against men. You see, wearing clothes which are forbidden in the Bible. The Bible clearly says that the male should not wear a female's cloth and female should not wear a male's cloth. But today, it has been that modern trend. You see, Women wearing uh, pants and shirts and shorts and going. And uh, while men are wearing saris, midis, minis uh, and going, that has become a fashion. Even their hair cutting, you see. Huh? And uh, the beard. What does the Bible say in Leviticus? Uh, you shall not uh, you see, trim uh, uh, your beard uh, such a way that this is abomination to God. Uh, therefore, dear brethren, so seeing all these things, uh, you see, all the social media, you see, vulgar films, uh, serials, games, drinks, smoking, drugs, uh, mobile phone. You see, all these things uh, are uh, pulling mankind into sin. Therefore, he says, uh, today we are living in a generation where iniquity is uh, abound in all over the world because of which many people's love is completely cold. Okay. Now, one more, one more sign. Let us read Matthew 24, 14. Matthew 24, 40. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the in all the world for the witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. You see, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all nations. Many people think, brother, still uh, so many village people, so many people are not even heard about Jesus. Uh, not your brethren. Everybody in this world knows about Jesus. Though they have not accepted Jesus as the Savior, everybody in this world knows Jesus. Uh, you see? But here... It doesn't say that uh, when you witness to the world, the witness will be accepted. You see, the kingdom of uh, shall be preached in all the world for a witness uh, unto all nations. So, he has, uh, 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 preached means what? Uh, how? The translation of the Bible in all languages. This is fulfilled as per the Bible Society's report, dear brethren. And the Bible was translated in all the languages of the world. This prophecy was fulfilled and the witness was given to the entire Christian world. You see, huh? so, but not everybody have accepted it. This verse doesn't say that this witness shall be accepted, but it will be given for a witness. Okay. Now, 
ಯು ಸಿ ಡಿ ಬಿದ್ರೆ ಎನ್ನ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸೈನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಯೂ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ರೆಡಿ ಬಿದ್ರೆ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಯೂ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಯೂ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಶಾಲ್ ದ ಸೌನ್ ಬಿ ಡಾರ್ಕಿನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ಶಾಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಹರ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಶಾಲ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹೆವನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೆವನ್ ಶಾಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೈಕನ್ very good you see immediately after those things what will happen in seems the sun moon shall not give light it seems so how is this possible how can the sun and moon stop giving light you see is this happened yes this is happened you see on may 191780 the sun did not give light for entire day you see mid of the long suddenly the sun became black there was no sunlight you see huh and the very next day the moon did not give light you see see this all things happen all over the world but uh, this is been recorded in america you know why because americans are uh, you see non orthodox people they are very strict and very scientific so whenever such things happen they keep record of all those things imagine if uh, these things are same would have happened in india but do you think they would have recorded they had false belief that god is angry they immediately sacrifice so many things and all instead of making a record of it therefore dear brethren these things are all happened in us you see and uh, stars uh, you see falling to earth we have seen the stars that are falling to earth uh, is what uh, shooting stars not little stars you see stars can't fall but they are shooting stars uh, you see and uh, match 24 21 brother one more sign match 24 21 Matthew 24, 21. For them, shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. You see, there shall be great tribulation, it seems, very great time of trouble, such as was not since the creation of the world, it seems. Dear Bhadran, you see, what is this great time of trouble? We are actually living in this great time of trouble only. You see, therefore, in the Bible, this great time of trouble is actually compared to a cloud a thick dark cloud you see so hmm? after a cloud comes what immediately comes after that one rain comes so similarly when trouble comes after the trouble you see god blesses the people of israel you see therefore in the bible you see the dark you see clouds are compared to trouble in the bible read you see uh, zephania 115 brother zephania 115 zephania 115 the day is a day of wrath the day of trouble and distress a day of wastes wasteness and desolation desolation a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and thick darkness you see a day of darkness a day of clouds and thick darkness the day of wrath the day of trouble how is it it is compared to day of thick darkness as the, the clouds are so thick uh, the people can't see similarly in this trouble uh, you see people won't be able to see anything uh, but <clears throat> what did jesus say behold i come in clouds you see So, which are the clouds? Are? Not little clouds. Are. This is the cloud Jesus was actually mentioning. Jesus is going to come in the great time of trouble and reveal himself to the whole mankind invisibly so they may understand with the eyes of understanding. Dear brethren, now let us read one more sign that is given in Matthew 24 chapter. That is Matthew 24, 32 brother. Matthew 24, 32. Read with that. Uh, 24.32. Hmm. Now learn a, par- a parable of the fig tree. When its branches, branches eat tender and put it for the leaves, ye know that summer is night. Yes. You see, he spoke about the parable of the fig tree. When the branches eat tender and it put it for the leaves, you recognize that the summer is a very near so what is this parable of the fig tree what was actually jesus referring to the same parable 
Jesus told in the parallel chapter in the book of Luke, 21st chapter, verse 29 to 31. Remember one thing, you see, Matthew 24 chapter, Mark 13 chapter, Luke 17 chapter and Luke 21st chapter are all parallel chapters. Okay? So, as Matthew uh, uh, signs are uh, given in order, we are studying that one. But some signs which are uh, not recorded uh, in the book of uh, Matthew, we will refer to Luke. Okay? Now, let us read Luke 21st chapter, brother, verse 29 to 31, brother. Luke 17, 29 to 31. Behold the trees. And he spake to them a parable. Behold the fig tree. And all the trees, when they now suit forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now near at hand. Mm, you see, Jesus here clearly mentions, behold the fig tree and all the trees. When it uh, shoot forth, when it begins to spring, understand yourself that summer is nigh. So when you see all these things, Jesus, what does he say? Clearly understand the kingdom of God is very near. That means... The parable of the fig tree, identifying the fig tree and see when that fig tree is actually sprouting. That is a clear sign for us that we are living in the last days. Okay, now what is this fig tree? Why did uh, you see it dry? First of all, Jesus says uh, the, fa the fig tree will sprout again. Okay, now when did that fig tree first actually dry? Fig tree doesn't usually dry, but why it dried? Yeah. Is it uh, anywhere given in the Bible? Yes. It is given in Matthew 21, 19. You see, we all remember when Jesus uh, actually was coming to Jerusalem, he saw a fig tree. You see, and he was very hungry. He wanted to go and eat. You see, so when he saw the fig tree, it was good looking. So when he came near, there were a lot of leaves were there, but there was no fruit at all. So instead of... Uh, you see, huh? Jesus blessing the fig tree, he cursed the fig tree. The Bible says that fig tree immediately dried up. Jesus has so much of power, instead of cursing the fig tree, you could have blessed it and everybody could have ate the figs satisfactorily. Why did not Jesus do that one? Because what is the meaning of fig tree? For Bible, Bible is a dictionary. Dear brethren, in the Bible, fig tree means uh, the nation of uh, Israel. Read Hosea 9 10, brother. Hosea 9, chapter 10, verse, brother. Huh? Hosea chapter 9, verse 10. I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your fathers as the first trip in the fig tree at her first time. But they went to the Baal Baal and separated themselves unto that same. And their ab abominations were according as they loved. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I found <clears throat> thy fathers as a first tribe in the fig tree. Okay. Israel's fathers are the fig means, huh? which is the fig tree from which the fathers came. That is the nation of Israel. Therefore, Jesus, when he came, he saw the fig tree from far. He saw the nation of Israel from far. You see, no, there was only leaves. So Jesus came at the first advent to seek some fruit. There was no sufficient of fruit. Instead of blessing the fig tree, he cursed the fig tree. The nation of Israel was completely destroyed and desolate from 70 AD, you see, eh? until so much a period of 1,800 years. On the world map, Israel itself was not there. But today, what has happened? On May 14, 1948, that fig tree began to sprout and got the independence. You see, we, today we see you know, war in Israel and that is also given in the Bible. We are going to study all these things in the coming days. So Jesus clearly says, when you see this fig tree sprouting again, clearly identify that you are very near to the kingdom. You see, so this is a beautiful sign that we are living in Jesus' presence. Not coming presence. So Jesus is present because of his presence only that Israel has got independence. So Jesus also mentions in the parable, Behold the fig tree and all the other trees. 
is a fig tree is nation of israel which are the other trees all other nations in the world dear brethren after israel getting independence more than 60 countries have got independence a few of the examples is india sri lanka pakistan bangladesh america all these nations have got independence in africa itself more than 50 it seems sir dear brethren this is a clear sign of his presence of his parousia that we are living in his day the days of the son of man okay one more sign is given to us in daniel 12 chapter 4 to us daniel 12 4 brother huh? Daniel 12.4 But thou, O Daniel, sort of the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Ah, you see? Seal the book till the time of the end. You see? In the time of the end, end last time, it shall be opened. So what is the sign of the end of the days? Knowledge shall increase, man shall run to and fro. That is the sign of Dhran. So, what is this uh, running to and fro? What is this knowledge shall increase? Dear Dhran, today man is traveling at a very, very fast and rapid way. You know, imagine eh, nearly 150 years before how man was traveling. He was traveling only in the billocards. But now today, man is speeding, uh, you see, in automobile. Uh, man was earlier traveling in charcoal train, but now they're traveling in electric bullet train. Uh, you see, it, uh, see the difference. Uh, you see, it, once uh, upon a time, when Isaac Newton prophesied, reading this verse, he told, man shall run, travel, sorry, man shall travel at the speed of 60 km per hour, it seems. Isaac Newton prophesied uh, and told during his days, but nobody believed. Everybody, they say, laughed at him. He's a foolish person. He's become a scientist. So he's uh, uh, bl blabbering uh, whatever he wants. Uh. But today, if you go at 60 km speed, everybody will scold you. You see, mankind is traveling at such high speed. Dear brethren, today, man is able to travel uh, to space and return back from space in the same you see, aircraft, uh, earlier and all, you see, the spacecraft uh, used to be traveled by a rocket and the rocket used to be destroyed. They had to return by capsule. But today, what has happened? Uh, by aircraft, they can travel to space and return from space. Uh, dear brethren, this is the sign of man shall run to and fro, traveling, intense traveling uh, of uh, human beings. Uh, Dear brethren, today, how many aircraft are there? You see, so much uh, people are traveling abroad, or traveling airways. This is the sign of the Lord's presence. This is the sign that Jesus has already come and is present in midst of us. Man shall run to and fro. Then, today, you know where man is going? You know, man is going to Mars. He's going to plan to go to Mars. You see, Mars lander was recently sent to, what happened? It came down and began to send photos from Mars. Dear brethren, man is going to moon, other planets. You see, the man shall run to and fro. You know, electric vehicles today, diesel, petrol and all, it will soon be outdated. Electrical vehicles, revolution. You see, even car is an electronic driven car. Future, you will get aircraft, that is electrically based to the Electrical aircraft will come, you see. So such is the man, you know, what you, 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 man traveling here to and fro. You see, and the verse also says, knowledge shall increase. You know, how knowledge has increased. You just saw this video, you know, robot. This is in Dubai, you know. There is a robot, you can see on the left hand side. Uh, she's also an uh, uh, humanoid. Uh, she, she seems to be a very natural woman. But it's a humanoid. Uh, dear brethren, man is living in such a sophisticated lifestyle. Dear brethren. Knowledge is increasing day by day. Imagine uh, what all equipments and tools we were using uh, uh, 20, 30 years before. So many books, so many fax machines, so many radios. Uh, you see, so many phones, uh, bookmarks, uh, notepad. Uh, 
ग्लोब एवरीथिंग न्यूज पेपर एवरीथिंग बट एवरीथिंग टुडे इज आउटडेटेड ये बदले नन ऑफ दोस थिंग्स आर देयर एट ऑल फर्स्ट डे इज टू बी ए गुड बिग कंप्यूटर विद एसी एवरीथिंग सो बट नाउ व्हाट इज हैपेंड आर ईच एंड एवरी हाउस हैज अ लैपटॉप इवन इवन दैट वन आल्सो इन फ्यू डेज इट विल बी गेटिंग आउटडेटेड यू सी यू कैन you see uh, use invisible uh, laptop you know there's in shortly is going to come is already google has invented this is 8 lakh rupee so we just wear on goggles your eyes you can use your system anywhere in the world even you are traveling there's no need for you to fear that others will see your system it will be only visible to you you see even the mobile you know uh, hand device uh, that uh, you see phone itself will go in a very few days so you can see your phone on your hand itself it will be invisible dear brethren you see such is the increase of knowledge you know they have got advanced lens you see where we put that one and uh, each and every human beings are scanned and their complete bio data details their blood group height weight address everything will be given dear brethren that is that is the increase of knowledge you know in google in your google in nepal i don't know about your nepal google in india at least we have something better google is there you know in us how is the google it's a live telecast you see if i on google in america it will be a real time video that is seen on the phone i can see real time who is there in front of me who is there on the left of me or right of me real time i can see which address i need to go on the real time we can see who is the person who is standing next to me what's his name details everything that is the google map in america dear brethren using such technology you see you can go back four days before and see what actually happened you see with a 3d full movie dear brethren this is the increase of knowledge you see the hologram technology just wearing a, a device electronic device you can completely duplicate yourself uh, next to you that is the sign of increase of knowledge dear brethren you see this you see this is the autonomous uh, bike uh, you see no need for any stand or no need for any support you just sit and just begin to drive no need to balance at all the bike doesn't fall at all dear brethren this is what autonomous bike uh, this is increase of technology this is all by god's grace given to human beings because of the second presence of our master our lord jesus when you see come you got al centro de la ciudad the bus the bus in 10 minutes and you can reach the bus stop puedes llegar a través de esta puerta See, this is a voice translator. We will be traveling to various parts of the world where you can't understand the language. This real-time voice translators help the people to understand the local language. You imagine next time if I come to Nepal, I'll use this one. You see, dear brethren, that is increase of knowledge. This is nothing. See, a blind person is able to see by just wearing, you see, electronic device. You see, entire human body can be completely scanned, and each and every parts in the body is a four dimensional image is been scanned dear brethren these are all technology that is going to be available for the whole world in a few days dear brethren you see even breast cancer you see no need for chemotherapy radiation and all each and every cell will be particularly targeted and be destroyed so such increase of knowledge is going to happen dear brethren and we know everybody artificial intelligence you see ai you see Huh? you might have observed on your phone if you use facebook uh, in a particular uh, way only those things will be given to you even in the uh, israel you know recent uh, for the destruction of the hamas leaders uh, they used the ai artificial intelligence to uh, see where the hidden and destroy them in a particular target see the uh, iron dome hey, you know you have seen all these things no this is like a diwali bombardment uh. this is not diwali actually this is a Ah, missiles that are launched from Iran on Israel. None of them fell on Israel because Israel has got Iron Dome, which automatically prevents any bomb falling upon land of Israel. Then agriculture field earlier and all they used to use bullock carts uh, to plow the field, but today the technology is so improved that uh, dear brethren, 
a single human being can harvest acres to acres of land. Just see the hybrid fruits, the quality of fruits, the size of the fruits that are being produced now, dear brethren, in, uh, in many years before, this was not available. But today, you see, such is the blessings because this is the increase of knowledge. You see, uh, no need for you uh, to hire a lot of people to do plowing in your field. Just uh, take a tractor or machine. It will do everything automatically. So, reap, even sort all the vegetables and uh, beautifully pack it and send it to the customers. This is the science of uh, Lord's second presence that is present, not where he's going to come. He's already present. And this is the sign. And one of the beautiful and the last of the sign is given to us in 1 Corinthians 4 5. Read with that. 1 Corinthians 4 5. 1 Corinthians 4 5. Therefore, there was nothing before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts. And then shall every man have praise of God. See? What is Bible say? What is the Apostle Paul? Judge nothing till the Lord come. So what will happen when the Lord comes? He will bring everything that is hidden to light it seems. So that is what is going to happen. That is what is happening. All the things that we have secretly done, all the corruption, all the scams that were done, they were in the secret. It is now coming to light. You see? There are a lot of examples. Even Bill Clinton, American president, was not spared. Even Donald Trump, American president, is not spared. Even he is brought to justice today. Everywhere you can see CC cameras. Everywhere you can see everything has been lightly recorded. Anything, you see, will not miss out. Dear brethren, this is the signs of a Lord's presence. Therefore, dear brethren, you see, what we are seeing today is that how do we recognize Jesus, it is only through the signs, invisible presence, his invisible presence that he has come, is invisibly present among us that can be identified by the signs and that sign we read in Matthew 24 chapter, you see Luke 21st chapter Daniel 12 chapter and 1st Corinthians 4 chapter so dear brethren, the next week we will be seeing, you see what is the date of his coming if Jesus has already come, then when has he come? You see, they, they must be dead, no? So what is the date? We will see in the next coming class. Hope you all understood. Anybody has got any questions, any doubts, please ask. Anybody, any questions? Emmanuel, brother? No, no, no. Excuse me, brother. Hmm. Okay, when the I have a doubt. ตบายเลยคลัสเตอร์ไวรัสส่วนมาสักหน่อยใช่ทำไมมีเลยอยู่คริสต์กุฎสระอาคมันเลยปัจจุบันบาทบาทบาทบาทบาทบาทบาทบ
uh, YouTube uh, classes again and again for more clarity and read the PDFs. Uh, especially we are trying to do in a Nepali PDF. Brother Ashish will update all those things to you. So please go through the notes. Any doubts, brother, please don't hesitate. See, even though you have any contradiction to these things and all, if you can express those things, uh, we are ready to discuss and we are, we are uh, appreciate those things. Uh. So Lord bless. So in the end, uh, uh, brother Emmanuel, uh, okay, Vishnu brother, would you like to speak anything? Would you like to tell anything? No, I don't have anything. Thank you very much. It is, today is a very blessed time to uh, with, uh, you speak very clearly. So I am with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, brother Raju, let uh, Vishnu brother pray. Okay. Okay. Vishnu, 